Okay, what we're going to have a look at here is our graph of our immune response. And, uh, and when we think about immunity, we're thinking about uh, the body's ability um, to, to not get a disease in the future. Now let's just have a look at our graph. And um, the, the first thing we'll do is have a look at what the axes um, uh, have on them. This one here, here is our antibody level in the plasma. And on our x-axis here is the time. Um, we have two responses, so two times we've had the disease. The primary response and then the secondary response. Um, and let's have a look at the differences between those two. Uh, the first difference is the primary response we can see only gets up to a certain level. Um, the secondary response is a lot higher, a lot higher up here. The next difference we'll, we'll see is, is how quickly these responses occur. And if we just have a look at these lines, the, um, the gradient of our lines there compared to uh, our line here, we can see that our secondary response happens a lot quicker. Um, it's, a, it's a lot, not only a bigger response, but it happens very, very quick. So to relate that to what we know about um, immunity, after our primary response, we've developed some memory cells. And when those memory cells are in the system, uh, they can then pro proliferate and reproduce lots and lots of antibodies very, very quick. And that's exactly what we see. This secondary response is very high because there's lots of memory cells that can reproduce very quickly and it can be picked up very quick.